man, you know, talking to as many fans as we know from different backgrounds, different shapes, sizes, all that good stuff, creeds, religions, all that good stuff. They talk about the pro wrestling they cover. And of course, we bring up Japanese pro wrestling and we bring up New Japan actually gets brought up a lot. And one promotion maybe doesn't get brought up, but like it's kind of brought up sparsingly is a promotion like Pro Wrestling Noah or Pro Wrestling Noah to be exact. It kind of can be trickier due to them just getting their English uh, streaming options sorted out at the moment. While New Japan is in that market is far ahead. However, in my opinion, Pro Wrestling Noah are really starting to find their spot in the wrestling uni uh, universe streaming service. More and more fans are starting to realize here that Pro Wrestling Noah is a legit organization. They just finished up their N1 victory tournament with Katsuhiko Nakajima of the Congo faction getting the W. The 33-year-old will earn his chance for the GHC Heavyweight Championship. And once again, he is at the top of the promotion right here. And we all know his opponent, Naomichi Marafuji. He is a legend, thus making his victory all the more sweet right here. So the match between these two would take place at Noah Grand Square, uh, Grand Square excuse me, in the main event spot. It was as good as fight as any of the matches from G1 Climax this year, if you ask me. And arguably as good as even matches like Tanahashi versus Okada. Marafuji is one of the most influ influential names of the 2000s, with many stealing moves from him. His biggest rival and ally was Kenta. If you haven't seen, man, their matches are fucking legendary. I recommend going to go check out any Naomichi Mirafuchi versus Kenta match. He recently disclaimed his fourth GHC heavyweight championship from Kaiji Mudo. In this match, he was taking the best of uh, Nakajima before finally falling. So Katsuhika Nakajima was wanting him to be the ace. I don't know if you guys were aware of that. Uh, this is a massive moment. As back in 2016, Noah was looking to usher in a new era with Nakajima as their ace. He'd reign as GHC heavyweight champion for 307 days, defeating the lights of Minoru Suzuki, Brian Cage, and Go Shiozaki before finally falling to Eddie Edwards, who was the first guy to win the belt. It was a good reign, but it really failed to move the needle, if you ask, across the board. Since then, Nakajima has scratched and clawed his way back up to the top of the mountain like he has done. His match quality, if you ask me, has been excellent and truly one of the most underrated workers in the world of pro wrestling. Let's hope his second reign can truly cement him as a top future star of Noah or the top current star of Noah more I look at. <coughs> look at, excuse me. I mean, him being only 33, he's still pretty young, so he can be a top current and future star. And let's see him, let's not see him lose in a partnership with Impact Wrestling. That would be cool. Let's not have that happen. His first challenger, uh, I believe, is coming up very soon. His first challenger is going to be ECW and FMW legend Masato Tanaka because he got a victory over Katsuhiko Nakajima in the N1 Victory Tournament. So, yeah, man, uh, I'm ready for Katsuhima, Katsuhiro Nakajima's reign, second reign as the GHC Heavyweight Champion. I'm ready for the match with him and Masato Tanaka. We will have the review of that, of course, on the Pro Wrestling the Pro Wrestling Pro Wrestling channel, we all know it's, that's a West Wrestling Network. Damn it, I just got off work. I can't even talk, y'all. Y'all know what it is. But it was just like a quick little news break. Maybe two weeks overdue. It is what it is. But y'all know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Price of subscription, free 99 So, mahalo y'all later. Adios. Sayonara. Toodle. Pippington.